Train the muscles, not the joints. So today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about... That's better, okay. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about survival, okay? And uh, why the body adapts. Okay, I had a guy email me the other day and he said, uh, so the body adapts to this weight training thing, but why? Why does it adapt? I thought the answer to that question was pretty obvious, but I guess, I guess it's not. So the thing is with this bodybuilding thing and this weight training thing, what we're trying to do is use the adaptation skills of the body that are based in survival, okay? Adaptation all has to do with making your body a better survivor. And if your body doesn't adapt to get stronger or faster, you'll, you'll get stuck hunting you know, really inappropriate prey. Give me the stick. G give me the stick. Give me the stick! So your body has these abilities to adapt depending on what environment it is in. So if you're in a starvation environment, then your body will lose muscle mass because it wants to lose metabolism. So that way it doesn't have to support so much strength and optimal performance because starvation is the very big thing we're dealing with right now. So let's make sure we have a lot of food stored up, kind of like a camel. You know, a camel stores up a lot of water. Well, fat stores are like you storing calories, storing food. The first thing your body will do is eat up its own muscle tissue. And then from there, it has a slower metabolism and now it has more calories that will last longer. So say there's not a lot of food around, then you basically can make sure that you can survive with less calories and less food for a longer period of time in a certain environment. So say there's a drought of some sort and there's no fruit on the trees, there's no animals, there's no hunting, you know, this kind of stuff. That's one way the body adapts. I mean, if you don't adapt, don't get faster or stronger or whatever it is that your environment demands from you, you will end up starving because you won't be able to get your prey or gather your food. It's just too, too fast for me. <sighs> Knowing this, Knowing this psychology of the body, you know that you want to make sure, if you want to gain muscle, you want to make sure that it always has food available because the first thing it's going to get rid of is muscle tissue. Muscle tissue is kind of like having a Porsche in the driveway when you live in the middle of the desert and, uh, and there's no roads. It's just nothing but dirt roadways, you know? And you have this, this nice, beautiful race car sitting in your driveway. Like, what's the point, right? So what you want to do is make sure that you are showing the body that the environment that you are in is supporting muscle mass and that it is not going to cause a detriment to your survival. It's not going to cause some sort of risk to your survival. So if your metabolism is too fast, you'll starve to death because you need to constantly feed this. Imagine if you had to feed yourself 10,000 calories a day just to support your metabolism. If you had to hunt 10,000 calories a day, that would be quite a bit of foraging, quite a bit of hunting. Okay. So that said, this is something you want to bear in mind. You want to use the survival mechanisms of the physical body in order to assist your muscle mass gains. It's kind of like a body hack. You know, you're hacking the system of the body. You're hacking the psychology of the body. This is why it's so important for you to make sure that you're fed every few hours or you're having at least enough caloric intake throughout the day to make sure that your body never feels like it's starving. You never wanted to think that because it's like, oh, all right, oh, am I starving? Okay, I'm going to put some fat on, right? And then that's it. Boom, you know? So why does your body adapt? Well, you know, the truth is, is that if your body doesn't adapt, you'll die. You know, in, in the normal environment, in the wilderness and stuff, if you don't adapt, you will die. If, say for instance, you don't put on a, a little bit of body fat and it's cold outside, you will freeze to death. If you don't put on body fat in a place where there's not a lot of food, you will starve to death. This is just a survival mechanism of the body. Ultimately, bodybuilding is just us using the ability of the body to become a better performer so we can actually become better hunters. So the irony is, is that when you work out hard, it's kind of like hunting. It's kind of like chasing down, you know, a caribou or something like that and, and using your muscles to drag it back home, you know, because a lot of times we, we would drag carcasses back to wherever it is that we live. And this is before, of course, the farming age and the agricultural age. But the fact is, is that when you are dragging that stuff, that is a form of weight training. You know, when you're lifting your carcass on your back and stuff and, you know, lifting it all the way home. So as you have more success of hunts and more success when it comes down to feeding yourself, the body would get better at this performance because it would be deemed necessary necessary for survival and for increasing your ability to survive in whatever environment you're in. So the stimulus that you give it will say, oh, this is what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. This is what I need to survive. And then the body adapts accordingly. And depending on what environment you're in will depend on what type of stimulus you're giving it. So I hope this helps you understand the mechanisms of the body and how it adapts to an environment you put it in. 
and uh, happy training. And if you need to get a hold of me, just go to naturalgrandbodybuilding.com and take care for now.